the gradient descent equation which we proved in the last video can be generalized to n variables also so earlier we proved that the cost function j is a function of w1 w2 then in this case we had this equation of gradient descent as w is assigned w vector minus learning rate alpha times the gradient vector del j this is what we proved for two variables fortunately this can be extended this result can be extended to n variables also so if cost function g is a function of w1 w2 wn then we can also have this gradient descent equation so in this case this equation will hold true for uh, n variables also in this case the gradient vector del j will be defined by n into 1 matrix this is known as the vector also that is del j over del w1 del j over del w2 and so on so forth del j over del w n so this is a vector representation of the matrix and whose dimension is n into 1 so in this case these equations can be expanded to n equation like w1 is assigned w1 minus alpha times del j over del w1 w2 is assigned w2 minus alpha times del j over del w2 all the way up to wn is assigned wn minus alpha times del j over del wn so we have this n equations which are compressed into single vector equation moreover one important point is to be noted that all those equations are updated simultaneously so simultaneous simultaneous update should be there what does it mean it means that you have to calculate partial derivative of j with respect to w1 with respect to w2 with respect to wn simultaneously at a given point whose coordinate is w1 w2 wn so this is the gradient vector uh, of partial derivatives containing partial derivatives uh, with respect to w1 w2 wn at a certain coordinate whose uh, whose uh, weights whose parameters are w1 w2 wn right so first of all we have this thing we have the partial derivative thing and then we are updating it simultaneously it means w1 minus alpha times del j over del w1 we have this update value of w1 and also we have this update value of w2 simultaneously it's not like first we update w1 then take the partial derivative of j with respect to w2 then update w2 it's not like that so what we are doing we are calculating partial derivative j with respect to w1 w2 wn and then updating w1 w2 and wn so this is all about generalized gradient descent equation thank you